15. <laughs> and I just got home. I thought, hold on a second. I thought I would be able to walk from school today, but it just never came around. Um, I got to work on time. Um, just to rehash my day. I'm very proud of myself. I got up and I worked out, which that's not why I'm proud of myself, but I worked out, had to run today. Tuesday is running day. So I ran for 30 minutes on the treadmill and then did a 15 minute walk. Then I got dressed. No, then I went to Starbucks because it was a triple star day. Then I got dressed and went to work and I actually got to work earlier than I thought. But I knew when I got there, I was going to need to make sure I had those assessments sorted that I kind of mentioned yesterday. So I got that done. I got the data that I needed and I sent that to the great level chair for tomorrow's meeting. And um, filling out that form took most of my prep. And then I realized, let's talk about a couple highlights while Woofie's being patient. I realized that the kids are supposed to do a study guide in social studies today and i'm just so accustomed to all my social studies guides already being ready from previous years that it didn't dawn on me that we actually are further in social studies excuse me that we're further along in history i should say than i've ever gotten in previous years so we're on lesson 10 which is the bill of rights and we've just never gotten that far and i'm embarrassed to admit that but that's just the reality of like how things have gone over the past couple years so I then realized I don't have a study guide for that chapter because we've never gotten that far. So then I had to make the study guide really quickly in my prep and make an answer key for my RSP students and the aide that works with them. And then by the time that was over, my prep was done. And then I went about my day. Um, and then after school, I knew I had one meeting, a PBIS meeting, but then I wasn't aware that I had another meeting scheduled at the same time, which was specifically for eighth grade uh, special ed teachers. So special ed teachers that are the actual RSP SDC teachers and then the gen ed teachers, which would be me that works with them. That meeting was more important. So I went there that took probably about an hour or so. And then I went back to my classroom, chatted with Taylor and another teacher that I left and I got here. So no vlogging happened. So I'm going to try something new. I'm just going to vlog like just a typical <laughs> after work routine. Um, so like I said, it's 515 every day, unless the weather doesn't permit, I immediately come home and Wolfie Bear, sit down so they can see you. Thank you, cute boy. Wolfie's always waiting and he's excited. He's being such a good boy for the camera right now, but I always get home and I immediately get him walked because he hasn't been outside for a while. He needs to use the bathroom. If I don't just do it right away. There's a good chance I won't get it done. So I don't let myself sit down. So I have already switched out my shoes. I always walk in these Crocs. My shoes that I wore today are over there and I take them on a walk, which takes about 30 minutes. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. I'm going to continue to listen to this book where this Dust Bowl man is transferring a male and female giraffe from the Midwest, I think is where he started and he's trying to get to California. Again, that's really all I can tell you. Aside from the fact there's also a redheaded woman in the story that he has a crush on. Other than that, I don't know. Um, so I'm going to do that right now and then I'll check back in with you when I get back. One thing I do want to suggest that you do this morning while I was getting ready, I listened to an episode of Small Doses by Amanda Seals. That's her podcast and she has a whole podcast episode where it's her and corporate Aaron. And it was like the funniest thing. It just was a great thing for me to listen to as I got ready for work. If you don't know who corporate Aaron is, just go to TikTok and search her up. It's hilarious. So I highly recommend. But let me get this little boy all leashed up. You ready for a walk? Are you ready for your walk? Hmm? He's ready. <laughs> no eyeing as the giraffe stretched down to be touched. I could tell it was like a sweet chorus to the giraffes after the day we'd had. And despite myself, it made me feel good. The old man returned, motioning me to bring the rig around to a gate in the zoo's high stone fence. By the time we caught up to him at the open gate, he was already talking to a short man in wire-rimmed glasses, dressed fancier than you'd think any zoo man should be, all gussied up in suit, tie, and bowler hat. Soon as we were in, he closed the gate and headed us toward a spreading sycamore along the back wall. Perfect for giraffe. The walk is over. We just got back. It was, let's see if I can do this. Thirty-two minutes. It's one and a quarter miles, and I burned a hundred and five calories doing that. 
There he is. There we go. There he is. So he's good for the night. Um, so now what I have to do, this is not something that happens every day, just on Tuesdays, is my factor shipment came today. It comes on Tuesdays. I'm a little disappointed and it's my fault because you, if you want to change the pre-selected meals they have for you, I have to make my changes by Wednesday and I'm pretty good about it. This is only the second time where I forgot to go in and pre-select my own meals. So what's in this shipment is just whatever they thought I would want, which means there's no upgraded meals. Like I always get one upgraded meal, which is always a steak dish, but these are just going to be standard <laughs> meals that they send me. And I, it's not that they're nasty. It's just like, I like to know what it, what I'm getting because I'll look forward to certain meals because I either like them or I really want to try them. Whereas this is just like whatever they thought. So I'm going to open the box. I'm going to move it. I'm going to put you guys down for a second. Um, I'm going to open that box and then I need to put the meals away. I'm going to put you in this cabinet right there. Okay. So again, I get the shipment every Tuesday. I spend on average, like the base price of this eight meals once a week, I believe is like $150 or something along those lines. I always end up paying about $125 or so because of the upgraded meal. They cost more. And you can have as many upgraded meals as you want, but I'm not rich, so I can't be upgrading all eight meals. So I always upgrade one. And you get eight meals that you can select or have pre-selected for you. And my shipment comes every Tuesday. I eat these for dinner. Sometimes, oftentimes, really I'll have a couple left over because I'll eat out once or twice a week. And then the ones that I don't eat for dinner, I have for lunch. I feel like, I know I've said this before, but I'm just gonna repeat it in case some of you haven't seen those vlogs. I feel like I spend less money on food and groceries because of this because I'm not eating out. I'm not buying groceries that are getting wasted. Um, so there's that. And also, there's some calorie control there. I'm sure, you know, I have to be mindful of the fact that I don't think it's processed food though. It's not like this is a lean cuisine. This is freshly cooked food. Um, but I'm not really looking so much at carb content. Um, but I could, you know what I mean? Like. I don't know like <laughs> I'm just getting meals that look like they would be tasty and seem relatively healthy and I go from there and I pick the eight based on that so I'll tell you what meals I got and then I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator and everything that it comes packaged with is recyclable so I just throw the whole box in the recycle bin when I'm done so the first meal is spicy Calabrian style ground beef I've never had that one before. This one is 590 calories, um, 15 carbs, seven grams of sugar. Next is artichoke spinach chicken. Never had this one. It has, it gives you a little bit more detail on the back. So this one is spicy Cal Calabrian style ground beef. I don't know if I'm saying that right. With roasted zucchini and creamy herb green beans. This one is artichoke spinach and chicken with roasted zucchini and tomato butter. This one is 690 calories, 12 carbs, six sugars. Next, shredded chicken taco bowl. I think I've had this one before with roasted corn salsa and cilantro lime sour cream. I have had this one before. This one is 530 calories, <laughs> 41 grams of carbs and four grams of sugar. This smoky Gouda chicken, 590 calories, 34 grams of carbs, and 19 sugars. That's not the best. Um, white cheddar chicken with broccoli grits, roasted green beans, and sliced almonds. This is a high calorie one, 720 calories, 16 carbs, six sugars. It's like either it's gonna be low in calories and higher in carbs and sugars, or higher in calories, but lower in carbs and sugar. 
I'd rather it be lower in carbs and sugar um, because I've learned over the years that that's kind of what kind of messes you up. Spicy, oh, this is the same one. Spicy Calabrian, Calabrian, help me, I don't know. Sal beef, same thing, so I got two of those. I would not have chose that. Sp is this the same one that I have? A spicy poblano beef bowl. Did I say that already? I don't think so. With roasted broccoli rice and scallion sour cream, 560 calories, 15 carbs, seven sugars. And the last one is another shredded chicken taco bowl. So when I get the shipment, normally if I had selected it, I get excited because I know on Tuesdays I'm gonna have a steak dinner. There is no steak to be had here. Um, I read each of these and I don't know, not one of them like, oh, have this tonight. Like you must have this tonight. Um, I might do the white cheddar chicken because it's high in calories and I know I worked out today. So I have some calories to spare. The shredded chicken taco bowl. I don't want that right now. Maybe the artichoke spinach chicken. Hmm. Excuse you. No. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the white cheddar chicken. So I'm gonna have this for dinner with some toast. I can almost guarantee nine times out of 10, if not 10 times out of 10, unless I'm just not hungry enough for it, I will have this and then I will have some sourdough toast. That's just been what I do. And I will have a diet root beer. That's, that's the routine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the refrigerator and then I gotta go upstairs to start getting myself ready, my life together for tomorrow. <laughs> So there they are. I usually put them facing that way so I can kind of see what I'm working with each night and grab what I want. Um, I don't know what that QR code does for you. I've never scanned it. Maybe it gives you the nutritional value. I have no idea. Maybe I'll try it one day just for my own curiosity's sake. So that's in there. This is the one I'm gonna eat. So I'll just kind of put this on the top shelf. And time to eat a snack and transition to being upstairs. So I'm always hungry after work. It is six o'clock and I am gonna eat dinner soon, but I am hungry so I'm gonna get a little snack because I don't normally eat dinner until after I edit. I've said before, I don't like, I don't like eating and any meal and then feeling like there's something I have to complete. Um, and so my goal is always to upload these videos the day I finish filming. So I usually will um, go upstairs and do what I'm about to do, which is like figure out what to wear the next day, get all that stuff pulled out, and then I'll come downstairs to take a shower, then I'll come downstairs and edit before I eat. So that's why I'm gonna have a snack. I'm gonna take this whole box of cheeses with me upstairs, which I shouldn't do because that's not portion control, but there's not a lot in here. So I'm gonna eat a few of these while I go figure out what I'm gonna wear to work tomorrow. Thousands running for it. Anthony Portantino is a state senator. He's uh, one of those uh, one of those considered to be one of the front runners. Michael Pure, the former LA City Attorney. You relaxing? In there, Laura Friedman, oh, we'll representing the citizen. figured out let me mute the TV this one's kind of iffy uh, tomorrow's Wednesday so I need to wear green um, and I try and switch it up so that I'm not wearing the same green shirt every single day 
And I haven't worn these green pants that I got from Old Navy at least a month ago. So this is going to be the green that I wear tomorrow from Old Navy. I had a hard time figuring out what top I wanted to wear. I'm going to do this sweatshirt because it is Women's History Month and this says Fearless Female and it goes with the green pants. The hard part is I'm not 100% sure what shoes I'm going to wear. I'm going to try both these pointed Rothy's that are not exactly the same color as the sweatshirt but close enough or it's going to be these white tennis shoes that are Nike. I have a feeling it's going to be that. I just sometimes I'll put on pants and shoes and then I'll feel like my feet look weird and I'm just worried that that's how I'm going to feel tomorrow and I'm not really sure where that fear is coming from so <laughs> but I'm going to pull that out. That's the plan. I also, when I, oh my God, I almost broke my camera. <laughs> also, when I'm getting ready, I will take out the earrings I'm going to wear the next day. So I'm just going to wear these hoops. This is a ring that I'm going to wear. I also switch out my glasses, which I already did. So if you were paying close attention, I was wearing some black frame glasses because that's what I wore today that are from Warby Parker. Tomorrow I'm gonna to wear these brown frames and I need to clean them a little bit more because there's a smudge in them. So I'll just clean my glasses so that I don't have to do that in the morning and then I'll just wear these for the rest of the night. So, got myself figured out there. Gonna put my pants back on the hanger in the closet and I'm getting ready to take a shower. Put my pajamas on and then go downstairs. I'm probably gonna edit this video up until this point um, and then I'll allow myself to eat dinner and then I'll do, I'll contemplate if there's any work that I want to do. There are things that I can do, but I don't have to. Yes, there's something I do have to do. I don't have my slides for tomorrow. Um, so I need to make my slides for tomorrow for sure. And then we'll see how I feel after that. But right now it's about 620. So I've been home for about an hour and so far I've walked the dog. I have unpacked my factor box, pulled out my clothes. For tomorrow and accessories and now I'm getting ready to take a shower I take a shower every single night I cannot go to bed without a shower so that ends up meaning I take two showers a day no matter what so I would never come home and just change out of my clothes into pajamas I just my my heart and my soul can't do it I need to feel like the feeling of a fresh shower before I put on pajamas so got to I'm all showered up and I'm about to go downstairs, but since this is just kind of like a typical evening, I just thought I'd show you what fancy products I use as a part of my evening routine. And please know that I'm being sarcastic when I say fancy. So, um, shower gel, it's just this real basic dial, refresh and renew. I just like this one because it smells clean. They have a lavender scented one, but for some reason it's hard for me to find it in this size at Target. Um, so I shower with this and then at the end of the shower, I will put on baby oil. I just didn't take that out and it's just generic baby oil from Target. I would prefer Johnson & Johnson baby oil, but that too is hard to come by. So I'll shower. When I'm done showering, I'll put baby oil on, wrap myself in a towel and just let that set. And then I will wash my face with CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. Also drugstore product. Then I will use this facial toner to just make sure I get all the makeup off and just for overall skin treatment. And then the moisturizer that I wear when I go to bed and I put this on before I put makeup on is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Clear Complexion Daily Moisturizer. And the baby oil is setting while all that happens. When I'm done washing my face and putting on moisturizer, then I will get some lotion, Aveeno daily moisturizing lotion and I will put a very small amount of Vaseline or petroleum jelly in my hand and I will apply it and that combination of the baby oil and a little bit of Vaseline and lotion is my key to not being ashy but it's also <laughs> my secret to um, having soft skin like I will admit I have very smooth skin Partly because it's like I'm a hairless cat, like I have no hair on my arms. But also because I've been doing this whole baby oil thing since the 90s. And I live by it. And does it make my skin a little oily post-shower? It does. But it's worth it because my skin is really soft. So, 
I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm probably not gonna talk to you for a while because I'm gonna edit this portion of the video and do what I feel like I have to do for work. Then I'm gonna have dinner. So, see you in a bit. It is 8.30 and I'm just getting ready to eat dinner. This is not typical. This is me eating dinner late. My goal is to be seated and eating at least by seven. But after I took my shower and came downstairs, I called my sister and we were just lamenting over men and man troubles. And that took a while, then I edited. So my dinner just finished cooking in the microwave. I'll be sure to let you know how it tastes. I'm waiting on the toast to toast. And while that was happening, I packed my lunch, which takes me all of 30 seconds. So tomorrow for lunch, I'm gonna eat this chicken burrito bowl from Trader Joe's. That is 370 calories. And then I have a little sweet treat in here. I have to sneeze too. <laughs> oh my God, excuse me. Which is this little peanut butter and chocolate Rice Krispie Tree, I bought these from Trader Joe's. You get a box, like a little container of them, and this is only 100 calories. It is pretty dense, and it does kind of give me that little sweet taste I need. And then I'm just lazy, so I'm just throwing this whole bag of shredded cheese in here because I'm gonna add that to this. And then I have a reusable napkin and a plastic spoon. So I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator while the toast is still toasting. <laughs> And I don't normally use paper plates because I try and treat myself a little bit nicer and use real dishes. However, the dishwasher needs to be emptied and I'm just, that's not a part of my journey tonight. Me emptying the dishwasher is not on my personal path for this evening. So we're gonna use this paper plate so that when I go to bed, there's no dishes in the sink. Um, so yeah, my toast is done. So I need to butter that up and then sit myself down and eat. I just finished eating, <coughs> excuse me, my toast. And I'm just here to taste this chicken with you guys. Let's see. It is good. The fake grits, the chicken is good. You taste the string beans. I don't see how you can really mess those up. 
but they are good as well. So again, I highly recommend Factor if you're, especially if you're single, you're busy, you don't wanna worry about cooking, you don't wanna go to the grocery store, you don't wanna spend too much money eating out, it's a good solution. So I'm gonna finish eating my dinner and I'll talk to you probably as I'm getting ready to go to bed. Okay, it is 9.45. I am in my bed right now. And this is not, this is pretty typical. The goal is for me to be in the bed with the lights out by 9.30. But we know that I was a little bit late with things this evening because I talked to my sister, which was worth it. So I think the last time I was tasting the dinner, I ate it. Um, did I do anything else? I don't think so. I just kind of went on TikTok for about 15, 20 minutes. Then I took Mr. Wolfie Boy out for his little last potty of the day. So we always do that. He always uses the bathroom before we go to bed. Came in, locked all the doors, um, set the alarm, came upstairs, and brushed my teeth. And I got my gym clothes or my workout clothes out so you can see on the dresser right there, that little folded stack. Those are the gym clothes I should be wearing, I, that I will be wearing tomorrow. When I wake up in the morning to get on the Peloton bike. There's a part of me I keep kind of going back and forth. I'm about 80, 20 right now that I'm gonna wake up and work out. But a part of me was very tempted to say, I'll just skip a workout tomorrow and wake up at five instead of 4.30 and make up the workout um, on the weekend. Speaking of which, I also, before I go to bed, check just kind of like my health stats on my phone to see if I closed all my rings. Um, and for some reason, I wanna just make it clear, I'm only conscious of like, trying to be aware of how many calories I'm consuming or burning or like the health content of my food because I'm no spring chicken and I'm trying to live as long as I can and maintain a healthy weight and a weight that I'm comfortable with. So today, I'll just show it to you. So I don't want anyone to think that I'm food obsessed. I don't know why I feel the need to say that tonight because I feel like I've talked about calories a lot today. Um, but these are the stats for today. I burned a total of 1,070 calories. My daily goal is 580. I did 100 minutes of exercise between my morning workout and walking woofy, and I'm at my stand goal. I was up for 15 hours out of the day. The goal is 12. Took 15,086 steps, and then this just kind of run down, runs down the workouts that I did today. The run, the walk also, and some ab work. So, um, what I would normally do, and it's probably not going to happen exactly that way tonight, is if I had gotten upstairs earlier, and I should backtrack. The goal is really to be upstairs by like nine o'clock, so I have 30 minutes to do what I'm about to mention. Um, but one is to work in this little journal, Seasons of Soap. I've mentioned this before. It gives you like Bible verses based on different seasons. I'm in the breakthrough season portion of this particular journal. I haven't really been loving, it sounds bad, but I haven't been loving the scriptures because I feel like the scriptures they're giving is actually like a story that they're just breaking up into chunks, but it's it it elicits the same response for me every single time. Like it's not forcing me to think anything new or maybe I'm just not pushing myself. So I do that and then try and read my current book. I won't get to this for sure. I am reading for my own enjoyment seven days in June, um, but I can tell that I'm too tired to even open up a book and read right now without falling asleep. So I'd much rather read this in the drafts book, <laughs> but that's my nighttime read. And then I turn out the lights and I go to bed. Woofy is in his bed. He gets tucked in. He's kind of not sleeping very neatly right now, but it's, it's colder. So I put that blanket on him. And then I've been in the habit of closing these curtains, these curtains. Curtains are hung just for aesthetically pleasing purposes. So they're not really meant to like be closed like this, but I've just become very into the room being as dark as possible when I sleep and those block out some of the light from just outside. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna do my little prayers in my little journal. I'm gonna turn these lights out and go to sleep because I am really sleepy. But if you enjoyed this vlog, <laughs> It was not really teaching related, which I kind of like, because that's kind of a goal is to just kind of 
explore my life outside of teaching. If you enjoy just a peek into just a typical evening routine for me, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so I can get to 20,000. If you'd like to leave a comment, please feel free to do so. I would love it if you do all of that. And as always, I hope that you're well. And if you're not well, please be well. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Good night.